Hey guys, welcome to A Night at Home. I'm Ashlyn Lene, and today we will be we will be doing a review of the Electric Gooseneck Kettle by Kasori. I hope I'm saying that right, because I know if I'm not, you guys are gonna get all in the comment sections to correct me. But either way, we're gonna test this out today, and what we're gonna test is a green tea setting, which is preset to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll test out um, how fast it takes to get to that point, what's the actual temperature once we pour it, and there's also the highest setting that I see on here is 212 degrees. And we'll test that out to see how fast that gets to that point as well. Um, I do like the look. I think it's cute. And um, I'm sure it'll replace my stovetop, which I do like the whistle on the stovetop, but speed is important. I think my brother will be happy with this. He is the uh, tea drinker of my guests. And he's a pretty impatient one, so I think he'll like this fast boil just as much as I will. Uh, but we're going to test that out and see how it is and see if it's worth it. So we're going to fill this to the max line, which takes about 32 ounces. Next, we're going to check out that 180 degree Fahrenheit preset. This took about four minutes and it topped out at 170. I would have loved for it to at least be 175, but hey, we'll work with this. All right, now we're gonna check out the highest boiling point on this Kasori kettle, which is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. This took about four minutes to reach its boiling point. I also wanna show you guys the app view. So I actually find this pretty aesthetically pleasing. As the temperature rises, you'll see the color changes to more like of an orange red tone colors, just to indicate it's getting warmer to hot. Uh, once you actually reach your desired temperature, you also have the option to press the hold button there. There's a hold feature, and once you press that, it gives you the option to hold up to 60 minutes. So for the highest boiling point, which is 212 degrees, the actual pour temperature end up being 194 degrees. I think I can work with that for now. So next we're gonna check out the stove top kettle. I actually set this to the highest option that I could to get it to boil as fast. This took about 10 minutes to reach its boiling point and the actual uh, pour temperature was around 188 to 190, uh, which is pretty hot as well. All right, guys, now it's time for some tea. Overall, I do like this kettle. It still cut my time in half. Uh, rather than using the stove top, which took 10 minutes versus four minutes on the electric boil. So I still think it's worth it. Uh, there are some areas that I would have loved for the pour to be a little bit hotter, but overall, I'm gonna stick with it for now. If you guys end up trying it, let me know what you think. So I did purchase this off Amazon for $77. I will link that in the description. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and have a great day.